Hello there, beautiful stars of the water tribes, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. It's your girl, Kat, so wonder intuitive, and I am back with your horoscope forecast for the week ahead. Though, whenever you come upon it, it's the right time for you to see this. So, whatever flavor of divination, pull along with me that we can get a more kind of an inside view on how these energies that are influencing your signs this week are going to impact you on a more personal day-to-day level. So on that note, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, in that order, your timestamps are in the description box. So let's go, Pisces. Hello there, fellow Pisces. Okay. <clears throat> we are using the double major tarot deck. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful, beautiful. This is published by Golden Age, uh, but put out by Prime Muse. I found them on Amazon. Amazing. Okay. Pisces, our main influential energy coming in this week is the Knight of Pentacles. Took its time getting here, didn't it? Yes. So here we go. And it's like this energy is bringing forth security, um, feeling more stable, mind, body, and soul, right? Feeling a lot more secure, feeling um, in a way rich. You know, with the blessings around you, there are things coming in Pisces that are going to throw us off a bit in a good way. Okay. It's all about flipping that perspective. Things that are finally coming in. It's like we're moving into phase two. Phase one was just getting our feet wet. You know, how are we handling this stuff? How are we still taking action? Are we, you know, doing that procrastination thing? Oh, nothing's happened. So I don't know. I'll just wait for spirit. But we're actually, we kept going. We have that nice little, uh, boost of enthusiasm again that hope you know and we've been fighting these tides that have been going on the last couple of weeks affecting the collective very strongly especially with the two major retrogrades venus and mercury going on hitting everybody in the fields okay so here it comes the next step or next phase for however that resonates with you pisces and i feel like this is all pisceans um the first thing that we're gonna see to and feel all week Okay, and I say this for a reason. We have the Empress kicking back, feeling good, feeling secure. That also ties in with that uh, beautiful Knight of Pentacles energy, Earth energy. And also there's a message of Pisces being grounded and really making sure you stay grounded because we're going to have, and the only way I could describe it in meditation, what I saw was flex and flux this week. Okay, midweek it's going to hit. We're going to have a kind of like a not a tug of war it's just flex and flux we'll see when we get there exactly like but that's the strongest words that i can uh describe what's going to be coming in so as these new things start coming in the things you really been wanting to manifest now you're in phase two so now you're really start this is really happening it's not going anywhere that type of stuff it's going to throw people okay because it's like one thing i'm working i'm working and you get all settled and you feel great you know woohoo and then all of a sudden now this could be in love this could be in career this could be in money it could be health okay and uh all of a sudden something even like the next step whatever that is for you whatever you're working on manifest actually shows up and it's like can i have a moment thanks and then we're <laughs> just going and tucking away spirit is also saying it's beautiful Beautiful energy of temperance. Very strong energy holding Piscean energy this week. It's like, we're going to keep you intuitive. You're going to still be feeling, but we're going to keep you a little bit more grounded about it. There's a lot of really strong earth energy kind of rushing in to assist Pisces this week as all this stuff comes in. And it's going to feel like it throws us a bit, but it's what we've been working for. So be open there, Pisces. Trust that beautiful intuition of yours. Okay, <laughs> it's going to be a very good week. If you allow it, don't stress, relax, just relax. Nurture yourself, take care of you, keep doing what you're doing there, Pisces. That was a big, huge message for you guys. And for some of you, Spirit may be bringing you your actual knight or princess. <laughs> Whatever your flavor. On that note, guys, I'll see you next week. Well, hey there, Cancer. Okay, let's get into it and see what Spirit is bringing Cancerians this week. Now, like I was telling Pisces, and I'm going to actually, this is for all signs, we have an energy coming in, or energies. I can't even, I only see a glimpse, but I can feel it. Flex and flux. So there's going to be stuff coming in 
or stuff uh, being brought up that might throw you a bit this week there, Cancer, but don't worry, you got this. Okay, one of your main influential energies that are coming in this week is justice. Okay, we're using the double majors. Uh, double major tarot deck by Prime Muse on Amazon. Anyway, <clears throat> justice. Okay, but this is about seeing where you've been blind for some of you. Take a resonance and pitch the other shit out. Um, and for others, it's about seeing what is right for you. It's more, I keep hearing seeing is the energy coming in. It's about um, taking off that blindfold for some. Okay, maybe just some things don't seem fair, but then you're going to see something that's, you're actually going to go, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was for me. I'm so glad it happened this way instead of that way. It's going to be very, very clear. For some of you, it may be in love. Okay, I know we've got retrogrades going on. We are almost cleared out. Um, I forget who's, I think it's Venus comes out, but we still have uh, post shadows. Uh, I forget when Mercury comes out, but for right now, Cancer stays steady. <clears throat> now, there is this major energy coming in. If you, if you, for some of you, remember take resonates, pitch out the rest. I'm just the messenger, don't shoot me. Okay, some of you may have had something happen over the weekend. Uh, we have the King of Cups, <clears throat> but this is the double uh, major. So there's two versions of the major arcanas and the court cards, okay? He's just kind of going, like, like he just woke up from the night after. What did I just do? <laughs> Be very aware of your actions and your words this week. So you don't have that hangover, oh shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> um, this is a big message for Cancerians. It, it's like justice is on your side. Things are working out in your favor uh, in more ways than one in all areas, uh, whichever uh, the area is that you felt that maybe things have never been gone, have never gone correct or gone right or gone your way. Uh, spirit is coming in very strongly with that justice card. However, how you handle... I'm hearing watch your words make sure you're really speaking from your heart don't let one moment of uh, you know <laughs> influence your decisions okay uh, whether it's drinking or you know going out and having a good time partying I just feel a big huge warning there just Try to keep as steady as possible this week. Things will be kind of throwing you off guard. You want to step back before you react, before you make any decisions, Cancer Dear. You have been working so hard to do what's best for you, to nourish yourself, to love yourself, to learn your worth. What you really worth. You're worth the world. You're worth the best. So don't let one moment's weakness kind of, you know, delay that is what I hear from spirit. Now, on the other end of that, we do have this page of cups. For some of you, you may be meeting new people this week. I do feel like uh, like-minded, like-feeling people coming in, uh, like communication in a good way, but be careful. You know, uh, I, I don't know who this is for. Um, just be careful about the cups when people offer. And also be careful about the cups you're offering. Make sure that this is something that you're not going to have a oh shit moment about. I don't know how to articulate that better. Just be careful of the decisions you make this week because they will impact all the work you have been doing. And Spirit says you deserve the best. Okay, yes, go out and have a good time and feel good. But... You need to think of the consequences too. Look down the road. Do you want any like a resonance energy from that moment? Because we don't need any regret there, Cancer. You guys rock. So remember, trust that beautiful intuition. If you, Don't ignore those red flags this week, Cancer. It's just spirit making sure and showing you that you are on the road and things are about to get better, especially with that page of cups. There's some good people coming in towards you, whether it be friends, family, or lovers. On that note, take care. Well, hey there, Scorpio. All right, let's get to it. 
Okay, your main influential energy for this week, and uh, as I've been saying in all the other horoscopes so far for Pisces and Cancer, it's a flex and flux week. Uh, I feel like this energy is going to hit, energies are going to hit, and they're going to kind of, I don't want to say collide. It's where it's like a pulse, but it's like there's a flex, uh, and then there's the flux. <laughs> it's just this weird pulsing movement going on. Um, Think the mirror in the matrix when it starts getting all wobbly and people are like, mm, flux, flex. So anyway, I don't Sorry, please don't blame me. <laughs> blame these guys up here. Okay. So your main influential energy this week is the hanged man. We are using the double major tarot deck, which has two different versions of the major arcana and the tarot cards uh, or tarot card, court cards. Okay. This is the hanged man too. He's standing there, he got himself down, and now he's like, now what? Wait, what? What? Uh, like, he's almost like thinking, but he's not quite sure how to. So this week, Scorpio, there is this energy of kind of pausing, slowing down a little bit this week, which is good for some of you is what I'm feeling. Spirit saying, go with the flow. You want to take that time because there's this like, uh, I want to say, I just heard, <laughs> uh, this reminds me, my friend <laughs> was talking about the Scorpion song, uh, Winds of Change, uh, that she picked up intuitively and started listening to it. And that's when I had this cool wind. It's cool though. That's why I keep hearing this cool energy is coming in over a uh, Scorpio, not to make you cold or anything, but just to kind of cool things down around you. So you have this space to decide what you're going to do next. The world is your oyster there, Scorpio. And you're sitting pretty. Look at this. King of Pentacles, a very strong energy coming in of support on um, mind, body, soul, and energy. Keeping grounded, feeling more secure, feeling more confident. Um, feeling more strong however because this is the king of pentacles too though he's tucking away his pentacle here for a like a rainy day but it looks like he's also on the flip side he's also taking a pentacle for himself oh okay 10 for you one for me 10 for you one for, we already pay you <laughs> king of pentacles okay so be very careful um, when you're managing your money this week, make sure you are, I don't know who this is for, just make sure you're taking care of your responsibilities first because they will come back to bite you later. There's an energy of kind of like uh, cause and effect going on like to the 10th power to around Scorpio. So make sure what you're putting out, you're ready to give, get back, okay? Now, in that, on that, <laughs> on that note, we have the Page of Pentacles coming in. Very strong energy. Um, could be bonuses. It could be job offers. It could be um, a love offer. Whatever is coming towards you this week, Scorpio. Even if you're in that hangman kind of thinking, well, just taking your time. Th when you are ready, Spirit's going to send. The, I feel like the energies are going to bring in new opportunities for you. This could be in career. It could be in money. It could be in love there, Scorpio. Um, it also could be in family or moving for some of you. Maybe you weren't sure and all of a sudden you're going to get an offer. Go, hey, I'm moving, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I could use a roommate. And you're like, that's what I need, a change. So the winds of change are coming in, Scorpio. Just be open. And spirit, I really feel strong. The energy is coming in to support Scorpio this week is to get you moved. For some of you moved into a newer environment, one that actually supports you in a very loving and nurturing way, Scorpio. So on that note, you guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you soon.